Sparkles of Light, it's Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for Wednesday, February 28th, if you're watching in real time. But it can also be from whenever you stumble upon it. It's a timeless reading. However, yesterday I did a reading, and these are the cards that came out. So check them out. Check out yesterday's reading. We have Clearing the Way, Four of Keys, using the, <laughs> the uh, Akashic Tarot. And we had the King of Keys, and then it landed on the Three of Roses, the Garden, which kind of had a feeling like a cliffhanger, like there's something that goes beyond this. And the book is saying the card next to it is where the children are going. So I'm going to put this here, and then I'm going to get out three more. So let's see what the other three cards and I, I might try to do a series like that until I feel like we've come to a con con conclusion to this story <laughs> alright so some of you are in story mode and some of you are just getting a random message alright we have on track nice one of scrolls and ooh, one of, of roses commitment and three of roses loving elements and there's the kids again oh so sweet all right let's zoom on in and see what else we get okay so just to refresh the five of roses special note was saying you can look at the adjacent adjacent card the one to which the boy is shooting his little slingshot or the girl is looking at the butterfly to get more insight on the children around you and their issues apply the details and people in the nearby card to the present and future children in your life so <laughs> so some of you might be actually trying to get pregnant or have children and then this was also talking about people who have older children and <clears throat> how you know even if it's adult children it could um th that something having to do with your children or somebody else's children or somebody somebody along the lines that it's just children okay <laughs> children in your environment somehow some way whoever they are all right so the one of scrolls the scrolls representing kind of like <laughs> It's kind of like the swords, but not quite. This is not exactly at all like the Rider Waite Smith. So there's some similarities, but not exactly. So one of scrolls is saying on track. So you can see a man at a trans train station looks over his shoulder at the signs that point to other tracks, but he has already looked at his maps and made his decision. So he lifts his foot to step onto the train. <laughs> Though travel or a move can be indicated by this card, the meaning is often about your choices and directions. You may have been ambivalent about taking certain track in your life with regard to a project, a relationship, a career directive, or even a location, and in this case, something having to do with your children. But now it's time to decide. If you, especially, like, it's interesting, speaking of tracks, you may like similar to train tracks you may be on the train the track that is this is a random message for you or you may be on the track that is a storyline from yesterday or something like that so this this so choose your track right <laughs> and um uh <laughs> There's some kind of direction here, though. It's compelling you. It's compelling you to get on board and keep going. You won't falter. So you're basically um, feeling guided to make these good decisions. And this card also has a special note. So imagine yourself stepping back through the stone archway of the station and into the adjacent card. <laughs> this is the waiting room for your train where you prepare for your journey. The information there can help you get on track. So take a deep breath in and say, I'm back on track. Feel the clarity of that declaration and let that energy fill you as the state of readiness moves through you. Since just one simple action that will realign you with your purpose. So now we'll talk about commitment. This could be the track to commitment, the track to 
an engagement. They track to visiting someone or heading to, to a certain location or a destination. All right. So the one of roses definitely resembles the cup's suit, but it's still not exactly the same, but it's close. So in the one of roses, you see roses scattered around a contract on a brightly lit desk. This card means that a valuable union is at hand. A romantic commitment may be coming your way or a love from your past lives is returning to you. A business commitment too could be forthcoming such as an offer of a promotion or a new job or the opportunity to form a partnership or create a new business venture. This card could also indicate the signing of other types of papers including the sale or purchase of a house or the beginning of a new investment. And either way this card is filled with light and it indicates that the good results are in the offering. offering. Um, part of the meaning refers to you. It's a reminder to be conscious of your commitment to yourself. And if you want others to put you first or to help bring happiness to your life, then you must commit to do the same. Your self-honoring choices will get the groundwork for you all, um, for your partnership to thrive. So remember, it takes two to tango, and so you got to do your part too. <laughs> but also, you got to be the magnet as well. And so, yes. And so, really interesting. It it really is kind of it could be a commitment or something that has to do with a partnership or love interest that pivots around. Um, children or you know whether they're young or adult or whether you want to have children with the person or something like that but um, it's very interesting it so it feels like a really positive change and now we're going back to the kids again and the fairies <laughs> but before we do close your eyes and with a deep breath bring in the word commitment <laughs> Feel its energy fill you with dedication and purpose. You are ready to make a priority of every commitment, large and small, in your life and especially to yourself. So the three of roses is loving elements, playful fairies, that's me, <laughs> and water sprites frolic in the air around a little child. And by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, if you, especially if you're a, a subscriber and you watch every single one of my videos, I end the video with a little da 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 you know, a little kind of lilting song, and at the end, the baby laughing, because fairies and babies go hand in hand. Because babies' laughter are, is why, where fairies come from. <laughs> so we be definitely have a special place in our hearts for, for babies. And they are beautiful and wonderful. So some of you might have, you know, be on their way to conceiving. But whether or not it's about an actual child, it could actually be about something being birthed. But definitely this reading has so much child energy in it. It's kind of hard to, to not realize that there's something there about the children and and even even if you don't believe in elementals nature spirits of all kinds do exist and they have more power than they can than you can imagine they live in the elements of earth air wind and fire and they're willing to share their guidance well-being and inspiration to the akashic records that exist in the natural world i'm so glad to know that <laughs> this card here tells you that joy will soon be increasing it's also encouraging you to remember to have fun i am a person who does not shy away from fun I was watching this girl sing who sings so beautifully and she was complaining about adulting and she's in, I guess, I don't know, 20s or 30s and I'm 55 and I'm like, I still have problem adulting at my age. I just want to be a kid all the time. So playfulness in your daily life. Let yourself sing a little and laugh a lot and call on the elementals to inspire you in this and in other areas. They are a font of fun and upliftment that can expand the joy of your life in great measure. I kind of know the meaning of this. So when you, yesterday, the cliffhanger, I think it sort of ends with, 
you know, stay with me, you know, stay here on this channel or anything that gives you a lighthearted, fun fe feeling, especially when it has to do with fairies. And that's kind of what I provide for you. The Daily Dust is a sprinkling of magic that, you know, pixie dust comes from the fairies and and it's it's that kind of uplifted feeling. It's It's the pixie dust itself that helped Wendy and the boys float up you know they thought of a wonderful thought and they tried and they got close they had the faith and the trust but it was pixie dust that really lifted them up and i just want to be that for you too i want to help lift you up and maybe you can be that for others as well just think about children in your life whether they're adult children or young children or somebody else's children or just children in general like that j that childlike energy does kind of lift you up it's bub bubbly it's it's sweet, it's free, it's joyful. And I think it's a good thing to tap into. So close your eyes and feel the air abuzz with flight and dance of elementals all around you. Feel yourself smile in the happy lightness of being they bring. And every time you take a moment to do this, you open your heart to joy. And you guys come over tonight to my live and have some fun with me during live and we can do some really fun readings on really low discounted donations or no donation at all like sometimes i do freebies so come out my lives are on tuesdays and fridays at eight o'clock central time and i'll see you there faith trust and pixie dust <laughs>